in this presentation on real numbers we are going to discuss certain proofs related to irrational numbers we start this presentation with a lemma and this lemma will be used in our next theorems and this lemma it states that let p be a given prime number and a be any positive integer then if p divides a square then we have to show that p divides a so to prove this result we are considering the prime factorization of this positive integer a we are we are from the fundamental theorem of algebra we know that every positive integer it can be expressed as product of primes so this positive integer a we can write it is equal to p1 into p2 so on up to pn where these p1 p2 so on up to pn these are the primes and we are saying they are not necessarily all distinct so what we mean to say over here is suppose i am talking about a number is there whose representation is 2 into 2 into 3 then this is p1 this is p2 this is p3 so we are not considering the prime factorization in this form so this when we are writing this thing that not necessarily all primes or all distinct it means that we are considering the prime factorization in this form so what we have till now is we are saying that this number a we are talking over here the positive integer a that we have it is having a prime factorization in the form p1 p2 so on up to pn now from this we can calculate a square so a square will be product of these prime factors so we are saying that a square is equal to p1 square into p2 square so on up to pn square now it is given that p divides a square this thing is given that p divides a square it means if p divides a square it means that p is a prime factor of a square and if p is a prime factor of a square and we have this is the prime factorization of a square that we have it means p is one of these values p is one of the values p1 p2 so on up to pn because we are saying the prime factor of a square they are p1 p2 so on up to pn so what we get from this is that p divides a because what we have considered in the beginning we are saying a is equal to p1 p2 so on up to pn and we have proved over here that this number p which divides a square is one of the numbers p1 p2 p3 so on up to pn it means that this number p it divides a and this is what we have to prove so we have proved that p divides a square this thing implies us that p divides a so this is the this is the lemma that we have proved and we will use this lemma in proving our next results now we are going to prove our first result that is square root 2 is an irrational number so we prove this by the method of contradiction method of contradiction means that we are considering that square root 2 is a rational number we are saying that if possible let square root 2 be a rational number and it's the simplest form b a by b where b is not equal to 0 so if a by b is the simplest form it means we are saying these two number these two integers a and b they are co prime they don't have any uh, common factor except one now we have considered that root 2 is a rational number and its simplest form is a by b it means we can write square root 2 is equal to a by b scaring both sides of this equation we obtain that 2 is equal to a square by b square and from this we can obtain that 2 b square is equal to a square suppose this is our equation 1 now look at this term over here 
it is 2 b scale and clearly this term 2 b scale it is divisible by 2 so if this term 2 b scale is divisible by 2 it means that 2 divides a scale now what we have seen in our previous lemma that if p is a prime number and a is a positive integer if p divides a square then p divides a so in this case what we have is if 2 divides a square then we will have 2 divides a now if 2 divides a it means a is an even number so there is some integer c such that we can write a is equal to 2 times c because we are saying that a is divisible by 2 it means a is of the form 2c for some integer c now if we substitute this value of a is equal to 2c in this equation 1 what we obtain is if we substitute a is equal to 2c in 1 we get we have this term over here the left hand side it is 2b square in place of a square we are writing it is 2c so we will get it is 4c square and this implies us that b square is equal to 2 times c square now what we have is from look at this term we are having b square is equal to 2 times c square it means that 2 divides we have 2 divides 2c square this term it is even it means b square is even it means 2 divides b square again if 2 divides b square we have 2 is a prime number and 2 divides b square so this implies us that 2 divides b so we are saying this implies us that 2 divides the number b now look at these two conditions we are saying 2 divides a and 2 divides b we obtain two these two these two conditions so what we can say from this is thus 2 is a common factor of a and b but we have considered that a and b are co prime integer they are relatively prime so this contract this is a contradiction over here that we have assumed that a and b what we have is a and b they are co prime integers but what we have obtained that they have a common factor 2 it means that whatever we have assumed that root 2 is rational it is not possible so we are saying but this contradicts the fact that a and b are co prime so it means that the contradiction arises by the assumption that square root 2 is n is a rational number it means that what this statement means is that this assumption that we have made that square root 2 is rational we cannot make this assumption this is not possible because if we consider that root 2 is ir is a rational number then this kind of contradiction will arise so our supposition is wrong so we are saying hence square root 2 is irrational number next question we have is prove that square root 5 is irrational so again we prove it by the method of contradiction so we are saying if possible let square root 5 be rational and its simplest form is a by b where b is not equal to 0 then if a by b it is the simplest form it means a and b they are relatively prime integers and further root 5 we can write it is equal to a by b if square root 5 is equal to a by b then on squaring both sides we obtain that 5 is equal to a square by b square cross multiplying the terms we obtain 5 b square is equal to a square we are marking this as equation number 1 now if 5 b square is equal to a square it means that 5 divides b square if 5 divide b square it means 5 divides a square now we have 5 is a prime number and 5 divides a square then using the lemma that is p is a prime number and a is a positive integer if p divides a square then p divides a we have this lemma 
so we are saying if 5 is a prime number and 5 divides a square then by using this lemma we obtain that 5 divides a so we are saying what we have obtained that 5 divides a now if 5 divides a it means that there exists some integer c for which we have a is equal to 5 times c now if we substitute this value a is equal to 5 times c in this equation number 1 what we get is the left hand side it is we are putting a is equal to 5c in 1 we get the left hand side it is 5b square right hand side it is a square so in place of a square we are writing it is 5c so this becomes equal to 25c square and this implies us that b square is equal to 5c square and we have b square is equal to 5c square and this term 5c square it is divisible by 5 so if 5c square is divisible by 5 it means b square is divisible by 5 so we are saying if b square is divisible by 5 we have 5 is a prime number and 5 divides b square so this thing will imply us that 5 divides b so what we infer from this is that 5 divides b so again we have these two conditions we are saying 5 divides a and 5 divides b so we are saying that 5 is a common factor of a and b and this is contradiction to the fact that a and b they are relatively prime we have assumed over here we what we have over here is that a and b they are relatively prime this is by the definition of the simplest form of the rational number and this thing is not possible because we are saying that the contradiction that is arising over here is that we have a common factor 5 of a b but this thing is not possible so we are saying that this contradiction it arises because we have assumed that square root 5 is a rational number it means that we cannot suppose this term this thing so we obtain that square root 5 is an irrational number next is show that 2 plus square root 3 is an irrational number so again we are considering we are proving this by the method of contradiction and we are saying let us assume that 2 plus k root 3 is a rational number so if it is a rational number then there exists the co prime numbers a and b where b is not equal to 0 such that we can write this number 2 plus k root 3 we can write equate it equal to a by b now if we calculate the value of square root 3 from this equation we obtain we are shifting this 2 on this side we obtain this implies this square root 3 that is equal to a by b minus 2 now we can write from this we are saying this implies this, that square root 3 that is equal to a minus 2b divided by b now look at these terms we are saying a b they are the integers so a minus 2b this numerator part we are saying this is an integer b is an integer so this number we are having over here it is in the form p by q where the denominator is not equal to 0 so what we get is that this number we are obtaining over here it is a rational number so we are saying that since a and b are integers so a minus 2 b over b is a rational number if this number is a rational number so what we have proved that square what we get from this that square root 3 it is a rational number we are saying if this number is a rational number it means that square root 3 is a rational number but this is contradiction to the fact that square root 3 is an irrational number 
so it means that the assumption that we have made it is incorrect the assumption we have made is that this number 2 plus k root 3 is rational this assumption it is incorrect so we are saying that 2 plus k root 3 it is an irrational number next is to show that 2 square root 3 is irrational so again let us assume that this number is a rational number so if this number is rational it means that there exists co primes a and b such that b is not equal to 0 and we can write this number 2 root 3 we can write it as a by b because we are considering that it is a rational number so from this term we can write the value of square root 3 that is equal to a by 2 times b again a and b both are integers it means that a by 2b is a rational number now if a by 2b is a rational number it means what we get from this is that square root 3 is also a rational number but this is the contradiction to the fact that square root 3 is irrational so we are saying that our assumption is incorrect assumption we have made over here is that square root 3 is a rational number this assumption we are saying this assumption is incorrect so what we have proved over here is that the number 2 root 3 is an irrational number next is show that 1 by square root 2 is irrational so again we assume that this number it is irrational number 1 by root 2 is rational so if it is rational then there exists two co prime numbers a and b where b is not equal to 0 such that we can write this number 1 by square root 2 in this form so we are saying if 1 by root 2 is rational number then the simplest form of 1 by root 2 we are considering it is a by b where b is not equal to 0 and a and b they are integers and moreover they are co prime now from this if we calculate the value of square root 2 from this equation if we calculate the value of square root 2 we get that is equal to b by a now what we have is a and b are integers so we are saying that b by a is rational why because we are saying 1 by square root 2 that is equal to a by b we already have b is not equal to 0 and moreover when we are writing that 1 by root 2 is equal to a by b then a cannot be equal to 0 otherwise this whole this number a by b that will become the integer this whole number will become 0 so we are saying that b by a is a rational number because we are having a is not equal to 0 if this is the representation of the number 1 by square root 2 now if b by a is a rational number and root 2 is equal to b by a it means that square root 2 is also a rational number and this is a contradiction to the fact that square root 2 is irrational so why this contradiction is arising because the assumption that we have made it is incorrect so if this assumption that 1 by square root 2 is rational is incorrect it means that 1 by square root 2 is an irrational number next is prove that 3 plus 5 square root 2 is irrational so again we assume that this number it is a rational number so if it is a rational number then we will have the co prime integers a and b with b not equal to 0 such that we can write this number 3 plus 5 root 2 that is equal to a by b now we try to separate this term square root 2 from this whole expression we try to write this whole expression in terms of square root 2 
so we can write the value of 5 root 2 we are subtracting 3 on both sides we get it is a by b minus 3 then this is equal to a minus 3b upon b now if we calculate the value of square root 2 from this term we are talking about this expression if we calculate the value of square root 2 we obtain this implies that square root 2 is equal to a minus 3b divided by 5 times b now what we have is a and b they are the integers it means a minus 3b will be an integer we have this term 5b is an integer b is not equal to 0 it means that this number a minus 3b by 5b we are talking about this number it is a rational number so what we have obtained thus we are saying that square root 2 is also a rational number because we have obtained that this number is rational and square root 2 is equal to this value so what we obtain is that square root 2 is also a rational number and clearly we know that square root 2 is not a rational number so we are saying that th this statement it contradicts the fact that square root 2 is irrational it means that and why this contradiction is arising because our assumption we have made over here that 3 plus 5 root 2 is rational this assumption we have made it is incorrect so what we obtain from this is the number 3 plus 5 square root 2 is an irrational number so this is the proof for this statement now the next we have is we have to prove that square root 2 plus square root 3 is irrational so again we assume that this number square root 2 plus square root 3 is rational we assume this thing that this number it is a rational number so if it is a rational number so there exists the co primes a and b such that we have b is not equal to 0 and we have the value square root 2 plus square root 3 we can write that is equal to a by b and this is the simplest form of the number square root 2 plus square root 3 now if we try to calculate the value of one of these suppose we are calculating the value of square root 3 from this expression so what we can do we are going to shift this square root 2 on this side we obtain this implies that that square root 3 is equal to a by b minus square root 2 now scaring both sides of this expression we obtain square root 3 square is equal to a by b minus square root 2 whole square we have scared both sides of this equation now when we scare these terms square root 3 square is 3 we get it is equal to a square by b square minus 2a by b into root 2 plus 2 now we want to calculate the value of square root 2 from this term so to calculate the value of square root 2 we are shifting this term a square by b square and this term root uh, 2 on the right left hand side and we obtain this implies us that 2a over b into square root 2 that is equal to a square by b square minus 1 we are saying we have shifted this term a square by b square on this side we have shifted this term 2 on this side we will obtain if we shift these terms we will obtain it as uh, minus 2a by b into square root 2 that is equal to minus a square by b square plus 1 if we multiply both sides of this equation by minus 1 we obtain the equation in this form now from this term we can calculate the value of square root 2 so we get uh, look at this term over here we are talking about it is 2a by b root 2 we have it is a square minus b square over b square so square root 2 we obtain that is equal to a square minus b square over b square 
into b by 2a and this value is equal to a square minus b square by 2a b so we are obtaining the value of square root 2 that is equal to a square minus b square divided by 2a b and clearly this a and b they are integers so numerator is integer a and b are integer so denominator is integer so what we can see that this number a square minus b square over 2 a b it is a rational number now if it is a rational number we are saying since a and b are integers so we obtain that a square minus b square over 2 a b is a rational number so if this is a rational number we obtain that square root 2 is a a rational number but we know that square root 2 is not a rational number so we are saying that this contradicts the fact that square root 2 is irrational and why this contradiction is arising because we are saying that our assumption that we have made over here that this term this value square root 2 plus square root 3 is rational it is incorrect so we are saying that square root 2 plus square root 3 is an irrational number.